My name is Sergeant Jennifer Andrade. I'm a combat photographer with 3rd Marine Division, Headquarters Battalion. Um, I've covered a lot of training over Balcatan. Um, I have taken photos of several different live fire drills, uh, both um, Marine Corps specific, but also bilateral. Uh, so I've covered training between the U.S. Marines and the Philippine Marine Corps. They've done weapons familiarization, TCCC training, uh, where they've learned to you know, take care of someone who's down in the fight. Um, we have also covered a uh, mechanized range uh, where they were in um, LAVs, AAVs, and JLTVs all um, pushing together and you know, firing and you know, just working as one unit. Um, capturing that kind of imagery contributes to the overall objective of Balcatan um, because it is the only way that people are going to know what we are doing here. You know, th it's that kind of transparency where uh, we can say like, yes, we are here. Yes, we are working with our partner nation and this is what we're doing together. Um, you know, it's to show that we are both committed to keeping this region safe and secure. Capturing imagery of exercises like this contributes to the mission of 3rd Marine Division, um, largely because it shows our, uh, our presence in this region, the kind of training that we're doing and just how far our reach extends uh, in an operational setting. You know, um, it shows our proficiency in all types of terrain and all types of weather and it shows the kind of connections and strong ties that we have with the militaries in the region. I think that sometimes people view Comstrat as the social media Marines or you know, pretty pictures for Instagram, but really like in the broader sense, Comstrat is just a communication tool for the Marine Corps. Um, and that's to communicate what we are doing, not only to the people in the U.S. or the people in the region that we're working in, but to the entire world. So it sends strong messages to both our allies and our adversaries, uh, uh, what we're doing, what, uh, what we're capable of. And overall, it just shows, um, like it shows people what we can do. Comstrat stands for Communication Strategy and Operations. What that means is that um, we are the communicators of the Marine Corps. We are the voice of the commanders, and um, we are here essentially to uh, inform the public of what we're doing and what our mission is, what our objectives are, and how we carry those out. Okay, Comstrat as a whole is important because we are a big source of information communication um, both internally and externally. So both to Marines in the Marine Corps, but also a larger audience across the world. Um, we do a, a wide variety of different tasks and missions um, from the stuff that you see out here, you know, taking photos and videos of Marines in the field, in their environment, doing their jobs. Um, but we also do things like um, sensitive information handling. Um, we do, um, you know, uh, vetting for interviews and, um, and media support. You know, we assist commanders in, um, in welcoming external media sources to events like this, you know, to exercises like Balcatan so that they can see firsthand what we're doing. And Comstrat plays a role in all of that. Yeah, you know, I haven't met many Philippine Marines, uh, so it seems like they are a bit of a rarity, but the ones that I have met have been really nice, and they have been just as hardcore as any other Marines that I have met out here, um, both U.S. and on the Philippine Marine Corps side. Um, you know, there were some out, uh, not like out with the, the mech range that we did, right, but they were, um, you know, working, uh, they were like working as gunners. Okay. Yeah, the female Philippine Marines that I've met have been just as hardcore as any other Marine that I've met out here. Um, they work with mortars, they work with the LAVs and as gunners, and there are officers uh, in these combat MOSs out here. And, you know, they've been really sweet, really awesome. I have loved meeting them, for one, and I honestly think that they're inspiring as well. So, um, you know, it's been, it's been great to, to meet them and I guess get to meet my counterpart.
what's been my experience with it. Um, I mean, honestly, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool to see the Philippine Marines and the U.S. Marines coming together and working together in such a proficient way. Um, you know, like, there are different challenges to overcome. You know, there's language barriers. There are issues with weather. You know, there's all of those things, but they have come together um, in just such a cohesive way to overcome these challenges together. Um, you know, they have, like the Philippine Marines have taught the U.S. Marines different ways to acclimate out here. And the U.S. Marines have shared knowledge with the Philippine Marines as well, you know, regarding like weapon systems and the procedures that they use and everything. So I honestly think that it's just been really cool to watch them learn and grow together. Sometimes on the ground level, um, the big picture impact of Comstrat isn't necessarily always seen. Um, you know, it looks a lot like we're just running around taking pictures and posting them to Instagram, but I mean, really what we're doing is we are sending a message to the world that we are ready, we are lethal, we are proficient Marines, and that we can operate in, um, in austere environments and all around the world, and that we can work cohesively with our partner nation. Now, Balkatan 23 has by far been the biggest exercise that I've ever covered. Um, it's been a really awesome experience to be out here and, you know, experience a whole different country, uh, see the different way of life that the people, you know, the, the Filipinos live here. You know, um, it's been, like, it's been great, you know, like, everyone's like, oh, the field sucks, you know, like, it's, it's hard. Yeah, like, yeah, it's hot and it's dirty and, you know, it's, it's a little messy and you have to talk to a lot of people that you've never met before. Right, but I mean, honestly, like I have met some of the best people out here. You know, I have made some great connections uh, and I've honestly had a really great time highlighting these Marines and their hard work. Um, I think one of my favorite things out here is when I take a photo of some really cool training that they just accomplished and the Marines come up and they're like, oh, I wanna see the photos. Can, like, can you show me? Like, I wanna send it home to my mom, you know, that kind of thing. And I can tell them like where they can find it and you know, like, and, and how they can share that imagery themselves. And they, I mean, they love it. And like, honestly, I think that's one of my favorite things about being a Comstrat Marine.